So welcome back. Today involves 84 shoes of plywood to get it from here to over there in the mud. It's a good job it's not too windy at the moment, so otherwise you'd be like a big sail. That's the room behind me. <clears throat> right, time to get the sheets up on the port side and assess the uh, damage. S yeah, don't know what it's going to be like. Cross your fingers. And your toes. <laughs> and your toes. Something I've noticed, the the gold, the gold zinc plated and the bright zinc plated are completely different, aren't they? Is it? Mm. One's like not been touched, one's um rusty as hell. Yeah. Oh look, we've still got deck all the way to the edge here. Huh. Uh, so I was just saying to Jeremy off camera, I think this is going to cause us a lot of issues in the moment, this big chain. Obviously it's holding us back, but we're in the summer at the moment, we don't generally get big storms, do we? So Plus we've got like 15 other anchors out. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully soon we'll have the, um, the windlass on and we can have another anchor out, we can adjust that one. <laughs> so we're going to ditch the chain for now. We're going to have to. Oh we? It's not gonna it's not gonna go anywhere, is it? It's gonna stay there. <laughs> okay. So this old boards that we had to hinge that way while we were working with that side. Maybe if we slice the front bit of it and have it hinged back this way so we can still access there. Sounds good. Did that pull you off the deck? No. <laughs> Think we need to move the cleat. I'm really, really hoping that like all the frames and the planks are all good at the top here. <laughs> to be chance? honest, the beam shelf doesn't even look that bad here. It's good how you can take your boat away in like carrier bags, isn't it? In bin bags. <laughs> so there's not like, there's not one big heavy bit to carry, is there? No. It's all quite light. <laughs> Tell you what, I think I might have to take my hussy off in a minute. Oh, uh, he's stripping. Yeah, I'll be the first time this year. Right, stop throwing all this shit down. Let's go in my face. Pass the impactor. Impactor. Where are you starting? What? Where are you starting? At number one. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's away already. So I'll just slack these off and I'll try to hit them out. Alright, let's throw us a hammer. Just a little one. Hammer. Okay. Deck doesn't feel very secure up here when you're doing that. Yeah, it's bad, but. Okay, so the nuts are off. We just need something now to slack it off. Got a soft hammer? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Got a nice soft hammer. Excellent. You're gonna do it. Come on then. It's a bit like croquet. 
Do you like croquet? <laughs> <laughs> you have to hit it. Oh, it's it just flexed, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've got an idea. I think it's just going to rip the deck off. Yeah, if we just cut the deck. Yeah. We've got to cut the deck anyway, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Found some like more solid plywood here. So, that's how the top, the forward deck beam was landed. Because the other side, we didn't really have much info on that because it had all fallen apart. Oh, it's not resting on the deck, on the beam shelf, it's no. resting on the packer. But they've cut loads out of it there. Right, my wife just had the intelligent, intelligent time of the year. She said, before we started taking it all apart, because obviously the other side fell apart, didn't it? But we've now got our lines, our proper lines. So if we clean all this up here, follow, follow these lines up here, and then that'll give us our nice vanishing point along here to where the deck lands on. So that'll be like the bottom of the deck, won't it? Yeah. So, so we'll put some marks on them big blocks as yeah. to the top of the packer yeah. height and the top of the beam shelf height. Yes, because we've been getting a bit concerned that these are too high or too low. Well, they're obviously too high, but that, that they're too low. And I think this side is fine. Do you remember, do you remember saying we think we've done it a bit too low? Which I don't think we no, have. Looking now, at this now, now. now looking at there. So, so, so yeah, so, let's put some marks in yeah. so we don't forget uh, how yeah. big our deck is. And then maybe, maybe we'll... So we can't paint it over it, we'll actually scribe a nice 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 line on it here. Too. Okay, that's a good sign. Right, tidy up a little bit then. So you gotta you gotta tidy this up and I'll carry on opening up deck. Yeah. Good good deal. Well there wasn't much left of the plywood deck to be honest. <laughs> good old plywood. Tell you what though. Plywood degradable, isn't it? This side doesn't look anywhere near as bad. Apart from there. 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 Nah, nah, nah. Thing is, we need to take the beam shelf out anyway, don't we? To see the planks behind and the frames behind, and we may as well replace it because it is 80 years old. <laughs> we want it to last another 80, don't we? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh dear me. Okay, so we have got some plank repairs to do on this side. See, it look good. It looks good, doesn't it? All hid behind the yeah. beam shelf. Doesn't look too bad. So yeah, okay, we've made the right choice by taking it all out. It's more work. Good job we like it, isn't it? It's good job we like the boat. Okay, so when you open up part of the boat like this, it's quite a sobering. You've just completed the port side 
ish. It's all beautiful. It's now starboard in, side. It's been corrected. So we just finished the, the starboard side and it's all beautiful and painted and it's all like nice and strong and it's not far off ready for a deck. But now we open this up and then we go, oh no, not more. But we, obviously we knew. I think we had this sort of anticipation of like, it might be okay. It might be okay because we're not seeing it. It's on the dry side of the boat. This side of the boat is gen generally okay, but it's a bit, it's a bit past, isn't it? So yeah, quite sobering. But because we've got you guys who give us all the inspiration and the and the drive to keep going, keeps us motivated. Keeps us motivated, motivated for four hours so that we'll have a brew. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to brew. We're allowed to brew break. But yeah. We can do it. We can do it. So there's a few ways of looking at this. Do we just take it all out? Beam shelf out, tops of the frames out, tops of the planks out, and then that'll make... We'll be able to get in and get out really quick. Or will we lose the shape? I don't know. We've still got the outer planks though to sort of... That's the main shape, isn't it? So that's our next puzzle. that one so that's to the top of the packer so the you can see the beam shelf here goes to there and then these are all packers but even the packers slim down don't they it's all a bit patchwork quilts hmm my boat is a patchwork quilt so anyway we know we know the line now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw this line across and then we're going to scribe it so we can't lose that and Gemma can't paint over so it. So does it look right on that side for yeah. the beam shelf that we've already put in? So that's the packer height. Well, it's kind of hard because this goes in a mad wedge down here. Yeah, it does. I mean, it doesn't really down. matter how beam shelf could be down here, but then our packers and then the deck beam, the deck beams will be slightly different. So the beam shelf doesn't... So, yeah, so if we use this piece of wood range. to put the beam shelf line in and see if it lines up <coughs> with our other side. Okay, so, so just sort of put that. We're going for the bottom of it. Yeah, so if you try and... Hold on. Okay. That's bang on your, uh, yeah, your other mark that you put in. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we did it right. We haven't got odd <laughs> wonky beam shelves right. from side to side. <laughs> better, better than red boat ones. <laughs> they go through the water like twisted. <laughs> okay, so it does match through the sides, so that's good. Another news, I've lost my lid. You have it, you just put it there. Ah, oh, that's good then. Put it off. You know where you should put your lid when you take it off? What? On the ends of in your pen. Ear. On the ends of your pen and then you don't lose it. Don't put it in your ear, it's not. Don't put stuff in your ears. It's not advised. <laughs> you can store quite a bit though in them. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually about work it is. Yes. <laughs> right, so we've got a lot of problems. So this beam is going to have to come away in a minute, but this beam is sort of half holding this deck up here. I'm saying. It's the only structure at the front of the boat. It's the only it? structure at the front of the boat. But obviously we've, we've, we've cut this beam off. To change the beam shelf on that side. So look, as you can see, it's doing nothing. So once this beam's away, then this here is just flapping. So I think we've got to put some temporary structure in, going from the bulkhead, which is there, and then attaching to here, to how to film, which is the stem. So then we can take that beam away. We even thought about putting this on the hard. <laughs> it is on the hard. Right, let's see if I can put a temporary beam in and then give us some structure and then we can, that will give us something to land our temporary deck on for, to make it watertight. You have to do so many things, don't you, before you can do the primary job. A bit wonky, isn't it? Um, yeah, straighten your body. So that's that one away.
Okay, so now we can't stand on the front of the deck. <laughs> Let's want to fall through. Okay, so we've now got our temporary deck beam longitudinal in. All we now need is a screw. And I've got these screws. And these screws aren't long enough. So, Gemma has been unscrewing screws, some big 1940s silica bronze or whatever they were back in the day. Um, so, we'll see if we can get that in it. So, this is making the deck a lot stronger now than it was it doesn't actually flex <laughs> that's good so i'm still working getting all of this out <laughs> Oh, you know, early on I was actually thinking of, there wasn't many spiders. So how far are we going here? Where, where's, where's the, uh, where, the beam where, shelf's cut off to here. Where's the blocks to here? Yeah. Yes. There we go. Okay, okay. So yeah, we've definitely got a lot of plank replacement to do. What do the outer planks look like? Oh dear. Well, for 80 years old. Strangely good. Woohoo! I feel like the biggest issue with the boat was of what we're going to be replacing it as similar anyway is that the bulwarks were on the outside so that was a, a water trap and then all the water's gone down into the end grain of the ply yeah but there's no evidence of like primer or sealant oh, or exactly. any protection was there but our plan is when the deck goes on it all gets fiberglass goes the fiberglass will then go up the bulwark so that it'll all be one big, one big bucket wouldn't it yeah. <laughs> cool still rolling right? Right then, let's start smashing through the plank repairs. So we were just on our other boat cheating on surrender. Um, we've got some alerts on our phone to say that there's somebody um, on our boat trying to break in. It's currently seven o'clock. Um, so we've just bombed it all the way back from Pafeli. Yes. Had to go home to get the keys for Surinda and now we're on our way down there to assess the damage. Kids. This is the problem when you get school holidays. All the little chavvy kids seem to come out and just want to terrorise people and rob stuff. So we think they've broken a door, so let's go and have a look. So obviously they've been disturbed by the alarms before. So there we go, so the, the door sensor that we've got has fell off which has then alerted us that the door's open and the alarms have gone, out, gone mad but yeah, <laughs> little, just obviously we're very very lucky and what we're going to do now is we're having a reshuffle round of the security system because we realised there was a few um, blank spots, blind spots, whatever. So we're gonna change some camera angles now. And obviously we're just we're very, very lucky that they didn't get in.
So it's not actually that much damage, it's basically pulled it off the top up here. Which basically that's just a ball. They tried to wedge me me boat hook into it and it snapped me boat hook before it's broken the door. So that's that's kind of good really. Well, the door, I don't know if it could ever close as well. You like that? It's actually working, oh, it says. It's actually working as good as, as good as it should, really. So that's a bonus. What's quite upsetting is that they bent me little, they bent me little bronzy, brassy handle out, I'm trying to break in, but that's the worst thing. Quick adjustment up there. It's good. And they got scared off by the cameras, didn't they? So could be worse. So it's now half eight on a Thursday night. We are knackered from all the boat work we've done today yeah. on the other boat. On the other boat, on the other channel. If you haven't seen that, go over. We yeah. have bought ourselves another boat. Another boat, it's just a very, very quick project. Yeah. And family fun, that one. That's really going to be fun. on the water. We're going to be launching that boat very, very soon. Yes. So go over to Ship Happens Adventures yeah. to follow that one. If you like all the broken boats. Yes. Um, right, so we fixed the door. The door's good. I'm amazed how well the door survived, to be honest with you. I was expecting to have to screw it closed and yeah. whatever. It's, it's probably stronger now than it is. Oh well. Parents, if you don't know where your kids are or what they're doing, have a word with them. Have a word with Do you know them. what I mean? It, you shouldn't be. I understand if if when I was young, we were saying like we when we were younger, yeah. we would see the boat like this, we would have been dead interested. Wow, and yeah, you would, you would, yeah, but not trying to break in no. and jack up open doors. No. It's that yeah. takes the biscuit a bit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think we had a very lucky escape. Mm. Uh, we're quite lucky that we've got a good alarm system yeah. and we've got really good neighbours keeping an yes. eye on us. So thank you so much, Paul. Yeah, cheers, Paul. Um, literally all the houses around here now they all look after Sarinda mm. and literally the second he's seen anyone near the boat he was messaging me saying Gemma there's, there's people by the boat so oh, we're doing this phone going on. <laughs> so yeah. thank you so so much yeah. Paul um okay so we're um, absolutely knackered now yeah. so, so that unfortunately is... we won't be carrying on the next day or so we'll be on the on the beam shelf not at half eight tonight and it's going to rain all tomorrow so that yeah. rains us off so next time we will come back and crack on with um port side repairs yeah port side repairs yeah cool thank cool. you all so much for watching cheers guys <laughs> see thank you so next much week. cheers now goodbye bye bye, -bye. Well, let me just check the audio audio hello yep <laughs> Checking the amount of times we film, you know, and the the, the audio is not connected, and and we get home and there's like blank footage. See you next week. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done already, as it really helps the channel out. See you all next week.